Hi, lovelies. So, um, I was just thinking, I've been feeling awful lately, and I don't know why, and usually when I feel awful, I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm not in a lot of pain, so it's very confusing, but it got me to thinking about how weird and different and strange the constellation of symptoms of fibro are. I mean, when you go to your doctor and say, I am in pain all the time. I wake up and it feels like I've been beaten up. Um, I can't really sleep, but if I do sleep, it doesn't feel like I've slept at all. I'm exhausted all the time. Um, my bladder is irritated. It feels like I have a UTI most of the time. Um, I am having anxiety and depression and, um, I'm having kind of headaches that are stemming from, seems like tension headaches. I also get migraines. Sometimes my um, vision is a bit blurry. I mean, do you get the gist of this? You feel like a complete nutcase. And um, it's really difficult to figure out. And luckily, in my case, I didn't have to figure it out. A doctor did. Um, but I just imagine nowadays, like, if I had doctors that did, weren't really good at what they did and weren't really familiar with fibro that like I would just feel like a crazy person. I remember I took, and this might be helpful for people that don't have a diagnosis, but I took a stick figure and I did drew a little stick figure and then on that I had arrows that went to each part. So I went head to toe symptoms that I was having and I think that helped the doctor a lot but looking at the list of symptoms was really weird and strange and it just doesn't seem like plausible so when other things kind of come up it's like well is it my fibro or maybe I'm sick I don't I don't know should I go see the doctor I mean I just saw my doctor so should I go back or am I just like have sort of, some sort of stomach flu or something and then like maybe for me like I'm allergic to gluten like maybe I ate something that had quite a lot of gluten in it and that's kind of making me feel anxious and um, it just feels like there's like just creatures inside my veins just like burrowing around and just driving me insane I'm so tired all I want to do is sleep I'm not fatigued I'm just tired but I can't because my body is like buzzing with things. <sighs> so it's a very, it's a difficult disease because it makes you feel like you're crazy. And mind you, I am like certifiably crazy. I do have mental illness and I have a pretty silly, crazy personality, but it makes you kind of feel like a bad kind of crazy and it makes you feel pretty isolated and also a lot of symptoms like right now that I've experienced I don't know how to explain it to people I don't know how to explain how I'm feeling and like what exactly it's like you know I say like well it kind of feels like aches when you have the flu but that's not really what it feels like so I don't know but um, it was interesting because um, my mom had come in in the morning and um, when I'm not feeling well I really like cold compresses and she offered to get me one and um, I completely, completely just had a fibro fog that sorry if you got interested in that story because it's gone forever <laughs> That's fibro fog for ya. Just all of a sudden, just gone. I caught a magazine out of the corner of my eye, and then thought went, and that's gone. So, this has been an awesome vlog. I'm sure you guys have gotten a lot out of it. Like, a fourth of a story. Lucky you. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a pain-free, stress-free day. Um, sending out X double O's and in the comments down below just let me know um, 
how you figure out if you're having symptoms of your chronic illnesses or if you're just sick. Um, I'd be really curious to hear. Also, there's a giveaway still going on, so I will have information down below. I am super excited about it. I know it doesn't show on my face right now just because I feel so awful, but I'm so excited about it. So get yourself subscribed to my channel so that you can win pretty awesome presents. And I keep adding more and more. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I hope you guys have an awesome day. I really appreciate you. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!